I'm now going to look at proof by um, by counterexample. So proof or disproof by counterexample. So sometimes what we can what we might need to do is we might have a statement which um, looks right in the first place. So if we look at this uh, example 196, it sounds reasonable to begin with. So no cube of an integer has two as its units digit. But all we need to do to disprove this statement is find one case where it's not true. So unlike the proof by exhaustion, where we look at every single case, for this one, counterexample, we only need one result which disagrees with the statement and then we've disproved it so for this one no cube of an integer has two as its units digit so what we need to do is look at a few until we basically found one which doesn't have a two as its units digit so we might look at okay two cubed we'll start with that one and we'll see two cubed is eight so that's okay that fits in with the statement but then if we try three cubed we get 27 uh, that's okay that still doesn't have two as its units digit we continue to try a few of these so we do four cubed we get 64 okay so that's still okay we've still not disproved it but we try keep going and um, if we get up to eight cubed we actually find that eight cubed is 512 and so we've disproved it so we've come out with a counter example so this is enough to disprove okay so now we're going to look at example 197 um, and this is saying that 3 to the power n plus 2 is prime for all integers. So what we're going to try and do is disprove it again using a counterexample. So it's just simply necessary to find a case where this is not true. So again, we'll pick a few examples. So we'll try, let's try n is 3. So to 3 cubed plus 2. And if we work that out, that's 27 plus 2, which is 29. Well, that is actually prime. That still fits the statement. So we'll try another one. We'll do 3 to the power 4 plus 2. And that will give us 83, which again is prime. So these are a little bit basically trial and error. We'll just keep going until we find something that disproves it hopefully using a bit of logic to try and uh, pin down where the counterexample lies so on this one i'm going to try the next one three to the power five plus two and that actually is 245 so again we've disproved it because um two four five isn't prime so we've disproved by counterexample